Halo. Welcome to another episode of Holla at Your Reef for YouTube video. Today is a very exciting day. You know why? Two reasons. Number one, I'm going to show you how I wrap a fish tank cabinet, just like mine. And number two, I'm going to give you an update on this Peninsula 650 on the livestock, you know, the fish, the coral, the sump, how my system is doing up to date. So I'm gonna give you an update on that later on in this video. Now recently a friend of mine purchased a Red Sea Reefer 250 and he asked me if I could help him wrap the fish tank stand, at least the inside portion. Uh, you know, inside of the stand is more of a flat white. He wanted a more glossy look, so we're gonna do that. And number two, it helps protect the wood against salt cream, and it's easy to clean. All you gotta do is wipe it off and it still looks uh, pristine. So we're gonna do that. You know, when I first uh, wrapped this fish tank stand, I, didn't, uh, I wasn't intending to do a YouTube channel. So I didn't do any kind of video to record. So all I did was took pictures. But because of this opportunity, it gave me a great uh, a way to show you guys how I wrap the stand with some simple tools and a, and a vinyl. So stay tuned for that. But before we move on with the video, I want to at least send a special invite for those of you who are on Instagram. If you haven't followed me yet on Instagram at Holla at your Reef Boy, please do. I post there quite often. I post there about my corals, my fish, my system, just anything reef related. If you want to see daily updates, feel free to follow me there. I don't get a chance to crank a lot of videos or content on YouTube. I wish I could with time, but uh, on Instagram, it's more quick and easy just to snap a picture and just give you guys how the system do. So please feel free to follow me there. It's also in my profile of YouTube. So if you want to see the hashtag of what the Instagram is, uh, thank you again. And also there's one more surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but that's a surprise at the end of the video. In the upcoming videos, I'm gonna do a special segment for something. Stay tuned for that. So you guys ready? Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! All right, so here we are at my friend's house. He bought a reefer 250. And first thing you wanna do is lay out the vinyl and put the uh, you know pieces on top of it, just so you can see how much material you have so that you can properly cut and not waste any uh, vinyl material. So here we are, we laying it out. And usually when I cut, I give it a couple inches from the edges so that way you have some room to play with. So the tools I use for this uh, project is two things. First, you need a squeegee. Next thing you need an X-Acto knife. Uh, this thing is uh, very cheap. It's only a couple of bucks at Hobby Lobby or any of the Target or Walmart uh, in the craft section. Okay, the next thing I try to do is make sure that the uh, uh, material is free of dust. There's no hair or dirt or anything like that because once you try to stick to the vinyl, it's impossible to remove. Next thing I want to do is make sure that uh, you remember how many holes are on this board so that you can uh, cut out the holes appropriately. Uh, next thing I do is uh, peel out a piece of the vinyl from the uh, protector and I bend it uh, just a little bit so that when I apply it I can easily uh, roll and pull and apply uh, easily. So here I am sticking it to the cabinet door and I make sure it has a firm uh, grip as well as align with the door itself and this is why it's important to give yourself a couple inches when you cut the vinyl so that you have room to play with so here I'm applying pressure with the squeegee and I open up and pull the bottom protector away from the vinyl and as I pull I go ahead and uh, pressurize the um, vinyl to the cabinet door and here I am just uh, going ahead and fast forward this so as you can see pull and squeeze and pull and just apply pressure to the vinyl so that it can be free of bumps and bubbles and if there's bubbles on this it's easily to fix that you can always uh, put a hole in the bubble and and apply pressure with the squeegee and you can't even see the the, the hole that you pinched it with next thing you want to do is uh, trim off the excess uh, uh, vinyl uh, and this is where the exacto knife come in handy and it's pretty easy just apply pressure and you go uh, against uh, the trim of the door and it cuts pretty straight now if you were wanted to wrap the whole uh, cabinet door that's another way to do it but in this case this door is white so I don't have to uh, apply it we just making sure we are uh, applying the vinyl to the internal 
uh, cabinetry. And here I am uh, finding the hole of the door and I just you know poke a hole and then I just trim along the edges with the X-Acto knife. The X-Acto knife make it really easy to uh, pretty much trim and, and cut holes and whatnot. So as you can see here, pretty easy. Next, if you have a material such as this where it has a lot of holes, what I recommend is take a picture first of the cabinet door. That way you remember how many holes there are and where they are uh, located when you having to pinch for the hole. So because once you apply it, you can't see it anymore with the uh, vinyl. So here's the finished product. As you can see inside is glossy and it's protected. So any, if any sock creep ever to splash or anything, it's easy to wipe off and clean off. So here it is. It's a beautiful thing. And we left the outside as original uh, to the Red Sea uh, look. All right, it's time for a Red Sea Peninsula 650 update. Guess what? I got new frags, guys. Uh, so here we are. We have a Jason Fox uh, Frankenberry. I put this on one of the barnacles and hopefully it can spread and crush nicely. Next thing I got is Acid Trip Millie. This thing is a beautiful color at night, especially under blues. It's a nice golden yellow with orange uh, specks. And then I got a Walt Disney here with uh, from a friend of mine. Uh, this is the free frag, so it was really, really nice. So I love the uh, Walt Disney uh, coral because it's like one of those multi-color corals. And here I also got from him a Oregon Tort. So this got a really nice deep blue color, as well as a light blue uh, uh, color as well. So here is a sump update. Uh, as you can see here, here is my Red Sea Reefer. I'm in love with this uh, Reefer skimmer. Uh, it really do a great job. As you can see, I run it thick. And so this thing has really been producing well for me. And here I took an opportunity to go ahead and clean that window by using the uh, manual um, top where I could just turn it and it just wipe out the dirt so you can see a clear window. So how cool is that? And here is my refrigerant area. I'm having a uh, chato and some grape grow, uh, grow under here. So as you can see, the, uh, it's really uh, growing and nitrate is in the system. So it's growing nice and uh, nicely for me. And here is my uh, filter socks area, or should I say filter cup with polyfill. I usually take out, replace the polyfill within three to five days. So uh, depending on how heavy feed I do. So there you go. And, uh, pretty much uh, that's the setup of the sump. All right, as I give you guys a full tour of the livestock in the tank, I also want to give you guys a verse and a message for today that will hopefully bless you guys. And it comes out of Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 15. And it reads this. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's fault and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ who rules in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. You know, the Bible gives us specific directions of how to conduct ourselves each day. You know, just as he wraps us in his love, we are to wrap ourselves in mercy, like kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. But also wrap yourself in love. Always be thankful. I remember when I moved into my home, we were carefully, you know, wrapping furniture and boxes, you know, bubble wrapping and, and really, you know, those um, fragile pieces, you know, you bubble wrap them and make sure that is uh, not broken during move and whatnot. I also remember there were boxes that we never opened for a, a long time, stuff that came from my old house and my wife's house. Uh, house at that time uh, we just had it in boxes and I remember uh, opening up certain boxes that's like oh wow this brings back so much memory and it was cool because none of the none of the items were broken during the move even though the boxes outside looked like it was beat up you know um, but uh, thank God that nothing was broken but the reason why I share that so I come to think that you know I thank God that he also carefully wraps us in his love and keep us in Christ Jesus so that in the hard times of our life, we can know the riches of his mercy and grace. You know, just like the precious item that my wife and I had that was carefully wrapped and sealed within a box. And, you know, just like Christ Jesus, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit so that through the rough times of our lives and the times that lies ahead, we are secured. 
You know, some days the trials of this present life will all be past, but for now, we are all learning more and more to trust in the Lord. You know, no matter what the circumstances are in our lives, the Lord is always on our side. Jesus is our shepherd and he cares for you and I. You know, sometimes it just takes a moment that we need to reflect how it is God alone that make us secure and wrap us in his love. You know, no matter how difficult the road may be, the Lord will always see us safely through. You know, it's so awesome that God keep us in his care at all times. And that's so comforting to know. You know, unlike me, who forgot some of the, you know, delicate items that I had wrapped over the years, the Lord doesn't forget about us. You know, he wrapped us in his love and he constantly remembers us and know us and love us. You know, we are always constantly in his care. We are constantly on his mind and he truly cares for us. He knows us all by name. You know, the Lord remembers us always and he watches over us. You know, the beautiful thing about having a relationship with the Lord is he will lead us to a place where we will be most safe. And guess where that is? Directly in the center of his will. So I hope this bless you today, my friends, you know, to be reminded that you are wrapped in God's love. Just as this Red Sea Reefer 250 uh, I wrapped for a friend of mine to protect it from you know, salt creep and uh, water damage and whatnot. Um, we too are wrapped in God's love to protect us from harm, but to protect us, to keep our, our heart and our livelihood safe, you know. And so it's great to know that a God of love is out there that constantly think about us, constantly cares about us, and really wants to have a relationship with us. Alright guys, this is the section of the video where I want to do something special for you. Yes, you. This is what I call Holla at Your Reef Board Reefer Hall of Fame. What, what? Yeah! yeah. So what I want to do is give you guys a shout out for those of you who sent me your stickers I want to give you guys a special shout out showcase your sticker as I put it on this cabinet door So I'm gonna do that in the upcoming videos uh, a few stickers at a time not all at once because I have a ton of it uh, So I'm gonna do uh, some at a time, but I want to give a special shout out for this first video of uh, the sticker wall uh, to those who have really benefit and and contributed to the reefing community either through YouTube or through Instagram but specifically through YouTube uh, I learned a lot from these reefers uh, these guys are to me are uh, the celebrity of the reefing community now there's are a few more that I haven't got stickers yet but the, these three guys I for sure have been one of my few favorites and so I really appreciate them alright so you guys ready for the first reefer hall of fame this one goes to Melee's Reef! What? What? Yeah! So, Mark Levinson, you guys know, if you guys check out his YouTube channel, Melee's Reef, his Instagram, Melee's Reef again, Facebook, Melee's Reef. This guy is a reefing celebrity. I really appreciate his knowledge and his experience in this hobby and how he gives back to the community, teaching and, 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 and really helping us understand how to have a successful reef tank. So if you haven't uh, checked out his channel, please feel free to go over to his channel. Also, we'll leave uh, his bio in the description, so check him out. So here we go, his first sticker, go into the Reefer Hall of Fame. Yeah, woo! All right, you guys ready for the next Reefer Wall of Fame? It goes to Mr. Boo Boo, Mr. Billy Pipes, what what? Yeah, so Mr. Billy Pipe is another DIY guy. I really appreciate his channel. He does, he has tons of experience and knowledge in this uh, hobby. So go check him out, it'll be in the description below. I really appreciate how he does product reviews, open boxes, and how he does DIY things. You know, he builds his own sum. At one time he does uh, his own manifold system. He builds 
all these custom DIY stuff that I greatly appreciate because if you think about it, it can save you a ton of money. You know, you can go to Home Depot and build something just by watching his channel. So check him out, it'll be in the description below. So here goes to another Reefer Wall of Fame. All right, you guys ready for the last but not least Reefer Hall of Fame? Here we go. Bum, 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 Whoa, whoa, Mr. Inappropriate Reefer. This guy right here, man, he cracks me up. His videos, his content, everything about him is so enjoyable. It's like watching a, a sitcom or something. This guy just, a, what's the next episode of Inappropriate Reefer? I mean, it's that good. So if you go over to his channel, he got a ton of subscribers. So check him out. All right, guys, so that wraps it up with this week's Reefer Hall of Fame stickers. Now, stay tuned for the next upcoming videos as I will incorporate more stickers. So see who will be the next Reefer Hall of Fame sticker that will go onto this wall. Again, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram where I post daily, follow me there at Holla at Your Reef Boy. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Happy reefing, happy life, and God bless you, my friends. Holla!